Morning everybody, it's uh, Jamie Iconic and um, so the last few years I've been doing um, some track days and initially it was a bit of a curiosity so I thought I would share my track day um, experiences so far to date and tell you how I've kind of got into them now first and foremost disclaimer um, I, I, I'm not a super fast rider I, I'm just doing it more for pleasure and as an exercise to improve my um, you know ride riding technique um, the other thing I'm doing it for is to learn more about the, the bikes we work on ourselves and, and the issues that, that, that some riders have uh, and, and how we can best solve those problems with uh, you know the parts we make so <coughs> excuse me so going back um, two years now I had the bright idea that what I do is I go and buy a um, bike and go and do some track days and um, we're um, <coughs> excuse me we're, we're, we're quite blessed in our location uh, we're right in the middle of um, you know track triangle which is basically where we're just a, around an hour away from Cadwell Donington and Mallory Park so we've got a good choice of circuits and I thought do you know what this this will be really good um, so I did the normal thing I got on eBay um, or was it Facebook marketplace can't remember one one of those and um, I uh, found a little bit rough but but serviceable Suzuki SV650 uh, Gen 1 um, that some chap had been using as a track bike uh, had spare wheels with it paddock stands um, relatively new tires on it um, you know and whatever so, so it was all sort of yeah relatively ready to go bar bar me you know giving it a once over and making sure I was happy with it um, so that's what I did but me being me I got the bike back stripped it down to basically a frame and an engine um, spent loads of money just making it nice um, and uh, what happened was is went to Mallory no I didn't where did I go Cadwell sorry and um, rode around for the day and decided that the bike was far too small for me what was the problem is I'm six foot three and 115 kilo and the bike is very small with quite low pegs even with rear sets on and no matter what I was doing my feet were catching the floor the pegs were catching the floor um, and I sat and thought about it and to prop the suspension up more and, and put springs in it or cartridge kits and things like that by the time I'd spent all that money on it I might as well just buy a bigger bike so I did um, so I rode that bike once and it went uh, next thing I did is I found a very nice GSXR 1000 K4 that some chap had built as a track bike and unfortunately before he even got to ride it on track um, he had an accident on the road with his normal sort of road bike and um, like I say ne never got to ride it on track and, and he sold it um, it'd been through a couple of other people's hands and it was just a bit too much for the road apparently it's set up too much like a race bike um, it's got cams in it it's got power commander on it it's got Olin suspension on it is you know it's, it's 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 been thoroughly worked over and um uh, i think it was dynoed at 168 horsepower at the rear wheel so it's not slow is it um so yeah um <clears throat> so what i thought i'd do is i'd give you a, a look around this track bike uh, so you know like you know what we do uh bikes we ride so um yeah give us a sec So <clears throat> since we've had the bike, we've had the wheels powder coated and sorted. Um, it had a very small um, Austin Racing uh, full system on with a very short stubby can, which would not pass any noise uh, tests, even though it states it's 98 decibels and it's that's rubbish, even with the baffles in. So we've got pipe works to make us up a very nice carbon oval can. Um, we made our own exhaust hanger uh, <clears throat> as you can see uh, the um, remote 
preload adjuster for the Olin shock was positioned in such a way where it was upside down and this cap would just fill with water, uh, which obviously means it's going to corrode and be nasty inside. So we, we've altered all that, we've made a nice little bracket where that goes. We've even made these extra ancillary brackets which help uh, to tie down the bike on the trailer, which is nice. Uh, when we first got it and got it on track, the rear reservoir um, uh, was leaking and spraying um, uh, you know, brake fluid all over the fairing which made the paint lift. Um, as you can see it's not now, oh, it's another story, I'll tell you that in a minute. Uh, the rear um, uh, brake rear set was seized so the, the, the rear brake, as soon as you put it on it would stay on. It wouldn't, it wouldn't return so we've uh, stripped that down and uh, put a few pieces in the lathe to give things a bit more clearance and uh, allow a bit of grease and lubrication to go in there. As you can see we have a um, Olin's rear shock. The frame and swing arm have all been powder coated, uh, very nice. Um, the engine as I say it's done 30,000 miles so it's quite high but it has been worked on, it's had cams put in it uh, and whatnot. We've made our own crash sliders. Um, this winter, we've just finished overhauling the cooling system on it. Um, so as you can see, we have a very nice new radiator with guard. We've took the OEM um, oil cooler off because it was starting to leak and they're like hen's teeth, you can't get replacements. So we uh, fit this Mokel uh, you know motorsport oil cooler and we've got all the nice braided lines whatever obviously water hoses got changed at the same time we have Axato um, uh, calipers uh, Goodridge braided lines um, it's this has got a cartridge kit in it as well uh, I think it's running Z04 pads which is good um, even little things like when we had the wheels refurbed we had the um, 90 degree um, um, you know valve, valves put on which, which make uh, changing the pressures on the track um, a lot easier um, the bike itself has a very nice matte silver uh, paint uh, finish to it um, which looks very distinctive on track uh, we have a Brembo uh, master cylinder which is absolutely rock solid you, you, you can literally break your little finger um, what else is there to tell you? Probably not a lot more really. Um, it's got the uh, endurance racing front headlight kit um, with the projectors in, which obviously isn't needed for track, but um, looks pretty cool. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, a quick shifter, um, only an up uh, quick shifter. Um, I think so, you know, very nice. Rear sets, obviously, there's the other bracket on the other side for tying the bike down. Um, carbon inlet tubes uh, saves a bit of weight I guess um, th this is still a, re a, a, a registered road bike with a V5 so it does have indicators and other lights on it most of them have been disconnected or, or removed um, yeah uh, oh there's another thing here it's our um, brake lever guard that we, um, we manufacture in house it's adjustable for, for length so uh, for the reach on the bar there, so that's just that's, that's perfect, and it's uh, it's rigid and strong and, and whatever. So funny story with the paintwork. Um, took the bike out of storage for the spring, and um, thought I know I'll give I'll give her a good old wash down and get ready for the year. Um, I stupidly put some product on it that had um, canubo wax in it, and now because this is a matte finish, which has got texture to it. Um, the wax settled into the texture of the paint, dried, went white, and could not get it off. Try, tried everything, um, tried uh, hot water, solvents, everything we've got in the uh, magic cupboard in the workshop, and it would not shift it. So I had to sand it all back to primer and um, painted it myself. So, and I don't think I've done a bad job. So there's a few little blemishes there where I could have got a bit more filler in and rubbed it down. But let's be honest, it's a track bike and you know, it is what it is. So 
but I think it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, tyre-wise, we're running uh, Dunlop uh, what are they, GP qualifiers or something. Uh, they are oh yeah, qualifier twos. Uh, Sport Max qualifier twos. Now, these are really good. They don't take a lot of warming up. Um, you know, with the right pressures, one lap round Mallory. Um, not Mallory, uh, one lap round Cadwell, they're, they're pretty much up to temperature. Um, you know, certainly for my riding ability anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah, really re re really pleased with those. Um, these have only done a couple of track days and there's still plenty of meat on them. Um, they're wearing in quite well. Um, again, bearing in mind, I'm, I'm a big chap. Um, I'm not overly mobile, but yeah, they're pretty decent to me. So yeah, so that's the GSXR, and I'll probably do another one of these little videos on the Honda CBR600F we've got. Um, that one's just been finished off at the moment. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts.